Audubon Nature Institute's Aquatic Center, and basically it is a rehabilitation center for aquatic animals, sea turtles, marine mammals. All sea turtles are endangered. The Kemp's Ridley is critically endangered, which means there's less than 3,000 of those animals left in the wild as a whole, which is a pretty staggering figure. And now you have an oil spill in their native habitat, which is, it's, it's not good for them. Um, we have 106 sea turtles here. The greatest quantity of animals we do have is the Kemp's Ridley, then followed by the green sea turtle, and then we have a few hawksbills and a few loggerheads. Again, all sea turtles are endangered throughout the world. These guys are a little more squirmy, so if you put them down, it's harder. Once to they um, arrive here, uh, we do a photo ID of them, we photograph the animals, we get, assign them a number, we assign them a tag. What we're doing is bringing them in, we're getting them cleaned up, um, get all the oil removed from the exterior of their body, also from their mouths and from their eyes. We've got it down to 10 minutes. We don't like to stress the animals. We, you know, we want to get it done and over with. Get them back to their attending veterinarian who now has their blood levels in hand and can now decide what the supportive care needs to be for that animal. And then we're giving them supportive care with fluids and antibiotics and vitamins. Um, you know, constantly checking their blood levels here so that we can make sure that everything is going okay. Well, the other thing that's very important to their care is the husbandry end of, of this. And that means um, we want to know how the animals are feeding, how much they're eating. Um, so actually our volunteers will go from sea turtle to sea turtle, patiently waiting for the sea turtle to eat, but our volunteers have to actually sit there and count how much each turtle eats because if that turtle decides not to eat that day or that turtle's only eaten two pieces of fish in two days, we need to pull that turtle out. We need to go back through the blood work. We need to start all, you know, start again with that animal So, um, and, and start to look at everything. So husbandry is a huge part and it's very labor intensive. In order for them to get a clean bill of health, we're not willing to do that until about two months into it, which means we're constantly rechecking the blood. They still, every three days, have to have antibiotics and they have to do that for eight treatments. Certain species can be released in other areas that are away from the oil, um, like the east coast of Florida, um, green sea turtles and loggerheads and hawksbills, that's fine because they're, they're willing to nest just about anywhere and they have a huge migratory area. The Kemp's Ridley, which is the predominant animal that we, species of animal that we have here, unfortunately, home is the Gulf of Mexico. Nesting is the coast of Mexico and Texas. They don't have a lot of options and that's why they're so unique um, is because they do have a very small range of where they nest. So, you know, long term, you know, we're here to do what we have to do. I mean, you know, we will keep them and, and, and keep them as long as we need to. But yes, eventually we would like to see the oil spill stopped and see the Gulf of Mexico cleaned up and get the animals back in their normal habitat is the ultimate goal. In, in doing this work, um, you, you can, you could let uh, be discouraged or, or, and let that get you. And, and you have to look at what we're doing. Look at what we're doing. We are saving animals and we're making a difference. We're doing something and that makes getting up in the morning, coming in here and doing this all worth it, all worth it. So we come in here, we have smiles on our face because we are, we're making a difference every day.